Hello and welcome to Fun at Home. It's lovely to be with you. Can you give me a wave? Well, God's with you in your home and God's with me in my home and we can have fun and say thank you to God together. Well, haven't we had some nice sunny weather? And I wonder if you've been able to get out for a picnic. Picnics are good fun, aren't they? And I've got a game about a picnic. Here's my picnic basket. And if I show you something that we need for a picnic in our basket, you say, yes. But if I show you something we don't want in our picnic basket, you shout, no. Shall we have a try? How about an apple? Shall we want a an apple in our picnic basket? Yes. Let's put it in there. How about some biscuits? What do you think? Yes, let's put those in. Do you think we want a sponge in our picnic? <laughs> no, we don't, do we? How about a nice cake? Mmm, yes. And some drink? Shall we have some drink on our picnic? Yes. Some juicy cucumber. Yes! How about a comb? You don't think we need a comb in our picnic basket? No, neither do I. How about some crisps? Mmm, yes! A wellington? Oh, you think we might need that on our feet? I think that's a good idea, but I won't put it in the picnic basket. How about a bagel? Shall I put that in the picnic basket? Yes, that'll be nice, won't it? We could have a sandwich. How about some cheese? Oh, we could have that in the bagel, couldn't we? That would be lovely. Yes. And what about a hat? You think I should put the hat on? That's a good idea. Now I'm ready for my picnic. Shall we go over to Ali and George Bear and see what they're doing? Hi George, how are you? Good, thank you. Oh, wonderful. Oh, what's this? What's in your basket? It's my pack lunch. Oh, are you going on a picnic? Yes. I love picnics. Yes. Do you want to guess what's inside from my picnic? Oh, yes, I'd like a good guessing game. Um, let me guess what you've got in your picnic. Have you got sandwiches? Yes. Ooh, now, let me think. What might be in your sandwiches? Have you got cheese? No. Have you got ham? No. Oh, what might a bear like to eat? What about jam? Not quite. I know. Honey. I Bears love honey. I expect you've got honey sandwiches. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. What lovely sandwiches. I'll put the lid back on to keep them nice and fresh. George. What else have you got in your picnic? Well, I've got a piece of fruit. Oh, right. Have you got an apple? No. Have you got an orange? Not quite. Uh, what other fruit might a bear like? I know. What about a banana? Yes. Oh, let's have a look. Here it is. What a lovely banana. Well, George, i better let you go on your picnic and meet your friends, hadn't I? Yes, please. Tell you what, can I come and say hello to some of your friends? Yeah. Okay. Let's go then. Wow, this looks a lovely picnic. The sandwiches look very tasty. Who are your friends, George? Uh, this is Binky. Oh, hi Binky. This is Jack. Hi Jack. This is Penguin. Hi Penguin. Wow, I think I'm going to leave you to enjoy your lovely picnic now. And while they're having their picnic, why don't we all sing a song? It's a song called Jesus' love is very wonderful.
stories and people used to love hearing his stories lots of them used to come and see him one day he was by a lake telling his stories when lots and lots and lots of people came over 5,000 people came with their families and they were sitting listening to Jesus tell his stories until it was quite late and they were quite hungry and Jesus' friends said to him, you need to send these people away so they can get some food because they're going to be really hungry. And Jesus said, no, we need to feed them. What can we give them? And there was a little boy there who had some a picnic. He had a little basket. And in his basket, he had one, two, three, four, whoop, five rolls and one, two little fishies. Jesus thanked God for the food because the little boy said he'd share it. And he started to break it up and give it to his disciples and they gave it to the people who were there. And the more he broke it up, the more there was. And they gave out food to everybody who was there. They all had enough to eat. And there were 12, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 baskets full of bits that were left over. Jesus took the little bit that they had and he made it enough for everyone. Isn't that amazing? Well, in that story, Jesus said, thank you God for all the food. And then he shared it amongst all those people and everyone had enough, didn't they? And we want to say thank you to God for all our food, fruit and vegetables to eat, bread and snacks to enjoy, we want to say thank you, God, for all our food. Can you try that with me? Thank you, God, for all our food. And maybe when you have your meal next time, you can say together, thank you, God, for all our food. Now let's go to Barbara. I think she's got an activity for us. So for our craft today, I've got an idea for you, which is, a fish and we're going to decorate our fish 
Now, all I've done is I've taken some colour paper and uh, we need the shape of a fish. So you need a wiggly line at the top and a wiggly line at the bottom and a straight line for the tail. Maybe you could see if you could uh, get your grown up to draw that for you and cut it out or you can cut it out and then you can decorate it. I'm going to decorate it with lots of little bits of paper. I've got a little pot full of them that I keep for things at home. But if you've got any old bits of, of magazine or paper or wrapping paper or tissue paper, all of those would do, or you can use colouring pens if you like. And I'm going to stick them onto my fish and make it look really lovely. So first of all, I'm going to stick some bits there, right across the middle, lots of different colours. So I'm going to end up with a fish with lots of colours on it. You might choose to do one or two colours or do the same colour. See what it looks like. And as I go, I'm not worrying too much about keeping it neat because it's going to look higgledy-piggledy when it's finished. And that'll be partly what makes it look like a real fish. Okay. So I'm doing lots and lots of sticking now make it look really good and I'm going to draw an eye because fishes have eyes to see out of in a minute and I'm going to stick it on as well oh look it's beginning to fill up now let's have another orange bit there I'm going to have some pretty tissue paper as well on mine so I'm going to put that there and make it look as nice as you like now I'm doing it really quickly so that you can get the idea but you can put yours on a bit more carefully than me because you've got lots of time to do it in. There we are, it's beginning to look really good isn't it? I think we need a bit of lovely bright yellow and what else should we have? Another blue one I think. Oh and I've got a little red bit that wants to join in so let's put the red bit on. Let's not leave him out. Now you can go right to the end if you like, but I'm just going to do that bit to show you. And I'm going to draw a big eye. You might want to do it in a colour. But I'm just doing mine with a pencil. And look, there's my lovely fish. You can have a go at making one too. Well, we're nearly at the end of Fun at Home for today. It's been lovely that we could be together and we'll see you again soon. So let's finish with our special prayer. Are you ready? God loves you. God loves me. We are part of God's family. God bless you. God bless me. God bless everyone I see. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.